Hi there. Okay, so this right here, um, this is the stock Monoprice Maker Select spool arm, and it is, uh, you know, it's fixed. It's too short, really, to hold like hatchbox filament or some other types of filament spools. Um, anyway, so I want to make an adapter for it. I'm just going to show how it assembles. All right, so uh, part A is this part right here, and this has also got a uh, 7 by 14 by 5 millimeter bearing and a bearing pin, okay? So, right here, these two, okay? And uh, this right here is uh, part B. And you do have some options. If you don't have bearings, you can use the uh, bushings, all right, that are the same size that will fit on the bearing pin. If you uh, want to use a 608 bearing, then all you need to do is just use find a couple different parts here. Here's the 608 bearing pin. If you don't have the 608 bearing, but you, you can use the bushing here. And then there's also a really tiny little uh, part here. This is a 608 shim. All right, so let me just tell you how you would install the 608 bearing first. Uh, both part A and part B look the same. So anyway, you just take your uh, 608 bearing pin and then stick your 608 bearing or your uh, shim on there, I mean, uh, or the bushing on there. And then inside of uh, part A or part B, on this uh, smaller side, you'll take this shim and stick it inside, push it all the way down until it clips in. And then you would just take this big part and stick it in and it'll fit, all right? That's how you uh, use the 608 bearing or the uh, 608 bushing. All right, anyway, um, so I'll go ahead and install this right now. So take this uh, smaller bearing that it was designed for, stick it inside the pin, and then just stick it inside of part B here. And just push it down until it goes in. All right, so you go ahead and take the spool arm and then just turn it upside down and take part A, stick it in, slide it through like that. And you can also just, this right here, this is part C. This is like a, the extender arm. And it also has, right here, it's got a little tension pad that goes inside. All right, it's right inside here. And this is a, optional, but this is a, a 10 millimeter M3 screw, okay? And what that does is that just pushes against the uh, out, the outside of the spool, so you can basically make sure that it doesn't unspool when, the, when you have the bearings on there and everything's working so well. All right, so uh, when part C is inserted, uh, you'll see right here that it comes through the end, okay? And so there's a setting pin right here, and this performs two functions. When it's on, it not only holds you know part A in place so it doesn't come off, but also uh, you can lock down the uh, setting, all right? So when it's all the way in, like this, okay, then that is for like E-Sun filaments. And then all you do is you just take this, uh, you know, part B and just stick it in and clip it in there like that, okay? Um, but anyway, you can, when, when this is all hooked up, you can uh, just go back there and pull the setting pin out. You can just move it, all right? To the, to the next setting that you want, and then just stick the setting pin back in, and there you go. You can slide that back if you want. Sorry if I'm not getting this all in the video. Anyway, so that's it. That's how it works. Uh, obviously, you know, you stick this back on, and, uh, you know, it works a whole lot better than, you know, the, the stock spool arm, and it's adjustable, and it has bearings, and it has a tension screw on it. So, anyway, hopefully that helps, and, uh, have a good time.